Hey guys, it's Paul and Jang, and uh, this video is going to be what is the time commitment for land investing, and uh, I'll tell you what it is for me. I spend uh, a couple hours, two to three hours a week, probably, on my land investing business. Um, this is me setting up some of my systems. So uh, as of I used to have two virtual assistants. As of this moment. I have one virtual system. I have a system for my CRM and mailing, and um, that's that's pretty much it. My wife does some of the sales calls for you know people re responding back and forth, but in including her her time commitment, that's kind of roughly I'd say closer to maybe three four if I put my wife's time in it, um, it you know for our land investing business. I know there are people that spend a lot more, uh, closer to 15 to 20 hours. And I think that is um, there if you add certain complexities like test, text, test messaging campaigns, if you yourself are doing some of the manual um, uh, aspects for research, as well as like marketing for like Facebook ads or um, like Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist. That could be um, time intensive, uh, but comparatively compared to other side hustles, update land investing is not uh, very time intensive at all. I would say that uh, in terms of getting a, a return from one deal, it could take anywhere between uh, one month to wow. like nine months. There's a range there. I always like to say like about six months for a deal when you buy it to, to you know, from buying it to reselling it going to approximately take six months. So uh, the way I see it is you should have multiple uh, deals so that, you know, some deals might sell in a month, some might sell in two months, three months, some might sell in four or five, six, seven months. But if you have multiple deals going, you know, you'll get different deals kind of everywhere. Um, and then in every month. Uh, and and it, so it's just a matter of how much are you marketing? How much, uh, how many different types of deals do you have? And what happens is things start kind of stacking upon one another. Um, I do see like certain months, uh, there's like greater sales than in other months. Like right now, I think it's like a little bit of a downturn. I think there'll be an ups, upswing like around January, February, March when people start getting their tax returns. Um, and then I do see like upticks around like the summertime and then I'd say like towards the like this season, like October, November, December, like that turning into the winter, there's a little bit of a downturn. Um, yeah, so, so those are some of the things that I've I found over the years. But um, when you're getting going with it, I think just picking up a deal quickly and then trying to resell it, that kind of gives you the confidence to keep doing it over and over again. And um, once you get like that proof of concept, you you just slowly start finding you start want to work you start wanting to work in different price ranges, um, doing other things like uh, options or holding things under contract or using some kind of JV partnership or using debt even um, to pick up land because you know when you're able to buy land at twenty five cents to fifty cents on the dollar, um, you know you're really kind of minimizing your downside and um, you know, like eventually like everything was going to sell. So that's kind of, kind of how I think about land investing. It's a longer term play. Um, it's um, it's a little bit more sequential. So you just do it one, one step at a time. I mean, it's kind of like building blocks, you know, one block at a time. And um, uh, in terms of your overall like time commitment, it's not really a, let me work for, you know, 40, 60 hours on this, like, and give it a jolt start. It's, uh, it's more like biding your time, seeing what deals, what, what deal flow can you get in your pipeline? And then what can you sell out? And just kind of doing that over and over again. So that's it for the land investing business. It is how my wife and I were able to quit our jobs. Uh, we basically bought the land and resold it for cash. Uh, funneled some of that, you know, took some of the cash for ourselves and funneled some of it back into the business. The thing that really got us out of our jobs is really the steady recurring revenue streams from owner financing. We sold some of our land, um, you know, basically as the bank and just took payments 
on the land that we had. And once they made their payments, we'll transfer over ownership over to them. And doing it that way kind of secured us in case they default. Like we just, you know, it's still under our name. And uh, doing it that way kind of just sequentially doing more and more, more owner financing deals, doing a couple cash cash deals. Um, uh, it, you know, we've we've kind of snowballed it into uh, us being able to do other things with our lives. So if that's of interest to you, check that out in the description below. Uh, otherwise, have a good one. Subscribe, like, the, like this video if you appreciated it. Have a good one. Bye.